back to why in the morning thank you for staying with us in case you're just joining us well uh, you're still on time for the first conversation of the day and today we're all about wcw and on strength of a woman we have an exceptional lady with us in leadership so we're going to talk about uh her journey in leadership she's called tabitha uh, rachel tabitha mutune who's a national youth political leader karibu sana rachel thank you so much glad to have you with us hey uh, thanks for having me. All right. Yeah. So we want to know a little bit about uh, who you are and what you do before we get into, you know, your whole journey, your whole story. Okay. Uh, so my name is Rachel Tabida Mutune. Mm -hmm. Mutune is a name from Kitui, Amakamba. Okay. Uh, so my political journey began in campus when I, I realized I am a leader. You know, leadership is from God. Mm -hmm. You can feel there is something in you that is kind of special. Mm -hmm. So there were so many challenges in campus. I graduated last year with my first degree. Okay. Uh, so I realized that these challenges need to be addressed. And some challenges are way beyond the school administration. They, mm -hmm. they need some upper hand. Okay. So I, I said, why, why, why don't I seek a national platform for me to be able to address these issues way better? The mm -hmm. issues that are, are, are past the, the, the university level mm -hmm. that need the government hand. Mm -hmm. Why don't I do that? So I started and that's how I began. I vied for KUSO. KUSO is Kenya University Students Organization okay. for the deputy presidency. And I, I took it, I won. So, so up, you are Kusu's deputy date. president. Yeah, up till now. Date. Yeah, till now. Okay. Yes. So I I I started national politics. So I joined a uh, ODM party. The ODM party uh, mm -hmm. working with the ODM Women League. We did campaign uh, for party registration where we are getting people to register to be party members. Now mm -hmm. with that I I I realized I could still do more. So I was vying for MCA. But wow. I stopped, I stopped, mm -hmm. I stopped to work for the party. But now while working for the party, it's when now Raila Amolo Odinga saw me in the campaign. And then he heard my speech and he realized I could do more. So he took me in, in his presidential campaign secretariat, where I was now doing campaign for him, doing communications and youth mobilization, stroke youth politics. So I got nominated by the ODM party as an MCA uh, in Kitui County, that flopped badly okay. because uh, ODM never got 10 seats in your company. Right. So when you don't, ha when they don't, a party doesn't get uh, seats, no one wins with ODM there, then they cannot nominate anyone. Mm -hmm. But uh, I said it's okay because I was aiming at state house. You all knew you were going to state house. <laughs> so I let it go yeah. and focused on state house. That also didn't happen. <laughs> that also flopped. <laughs> that also flopped. Now we are here, but we learned a lot. Yeah. I did. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, okay. You said, let me take you back a bit. You said there's a time you tried to vie for MC and then you stopped. Yeah. And then now ODM nominated you later on. Is it the same year? Just the same year. Like uh -huh. I, I did the strategy. I, I came up with my campaign team and everything to go for MCA. Were you vying, uh, were you trying to vie under a party or independent? Yeah, yeah and a party, ODM. Uh -huh. But then when I checked the dynamics and, uh, hey, I tried to study the word and I realized, no, it, I can CSE uh, kuja mm -hmm. You need, I need to learn something. I need to learn more. Mm -hmm. Even if I try this, I'll fail. Okay. And you know, sometimes you might vie to be noticed, but I, I was already known. So, so I was mm -hmm. like, even if I buy, what is the point? What is the, the what is the the point? Any at the end of the day, mm -hmm. I, but you still went ahead and uh, you know got nominated by ODM. Yeah, you can be nominated actually when you don't buy. Mm -hmm. When you buy, you cannot be nominated. Right. So it's either you buy, you fail, mm -hmm. or uh, you get the nomination. But now the women are trying to come up to, to come together and see how they can do the nominations after women buy. Because you find someone went to buy, they used a lot of resources, and then you know, no, there is not that opportunity again for nomination. Mm -hmm. It has gone with other people. Wow. But you see, this woman has tried a lot, yeah. and she has failed. Now, what's the reward? At least, what's what's there for her? Mm -hmm. So that they don't give up. Yeah, at mm -hmm. least to do that later now. Okay. Yeah, to consider the women who have at least tried. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
All right. So where did, did your journey, wh till where you are now, now after the nomination? Because like, I had cut you short a bit. So tell us more. Mm -hmm. Where I am now. So I got a job mm -hmm. in parliament anyway. That is where I am now. So, okay. But I'm still in leadership. Like mine is not to work. I don't care. I say I don't care whether I win one day or not. Mm -hmm. I just want to make the change in the society. I still want to, to do what I feel I was called to do. Mm -hmm. So the, that legacy, I just want it so much. But the job is still there to sustain me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the job is just there to sustain, to sustain you, but me. you are but in leadership. Yeah. That's where your calling is. Yeah. So tell us, talk, talk, talk to us about student leadership because you started in school before you finished and uh, became the deputy president of, uh, you know, uh, KUSO. Mm -hmm. So how was it in student leadership? Um, it used to be nice before we joined the campus. <laughs> because we, everybody could feel the student politics. It was actually without uh, one million plus, someone would, would not win any seats. There's times of Sonu, when we used to hear about Sonu, mm -hmm. then we learned about it a bit later. Yeah. It was politics uh, in such a way that a student leader at that time could win with masses and trans that would translate to masses at national level. Okay. But it changed all of a sudden because of duality bill that was introduced uh, by the MP mm -hmm. to, to cap this cha chaotic. They used to say, they said that students are wrong. They are being chaotic. Mm -hmm. So it was introduced to, 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 ma to manage them. Okay. The, the times of Babuino, you know, it was so little. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now you see, the, I think they were doing it to, to manage them, but mm -hmm. it trickled down now to us. It's affecting us. We are now campaigning silence. We, we were campaigning like you, you are scared. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, no activism. Mm -hmm. Unajua hakuna vile siyasa unezo afanya chini ya maji. Mm -hmm. Siyasa is something. Kidogo. Yeah. <laughs> you must cause tension, kidogo. You yeah. must be felt. So now it's different. It's different. You have to go through a college system where it's a group of student leaders who are supposed to decide whether you win or not. So I know that the system is you vote uh, through delegates? Yeah, through dele the delegate system now. Wow. And okay. you see delegates could be influenced by other external powers, mm -hmm. whether the administration or just one rich opponent of yours. Money, corruption, so you know, it's habit becoming... So it's, uh, the corruption is there in the university. It's so we don't there. really have like uh, transparent elections even happening there. So this mm -hmm. bill was totally not okay. That was passed into law. Yeah, we've tried to petition in parliament mm -hmm. to get it withdrawn. At least we've got an audience with the National Assembly yeah. pushing through our leaders like Babu and other leaders who care about comrades so much. Mm -hmm. But it's still there. It's still there and... Uh, if it continues to be there, then we will have to get other ways or we will have to mentor students mm -hmm. on silent, not just silent politics. Like where now you have to sell your manifesto, get, uh, be more strategic on how to win. But that is not what we want. We want an um, election system that, that, that when you come out here, it's mm -hmm. what you find happening. Because yeah. university politics is not like it's national It's not what is politics. happening in, no. in, yeah, in the national... Yeah, so what's the point? Mm -hmm. We're not mentoring anyone. Okay. Uh, that someone comes here and I'm going to show you how to do it. It wasn't like this. So yes, it's the delegates. Yeah. So now, and then you now joining, uh, becoming the deputy president of KUSO. How is it? Uh, what are you doing? For me, uh, the KUSO, the work of KUSO is to represent the students mm -hmm. at national level yeah. and to protect them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and to protect them. So we work with colleges and universities. It's an umbrella for all of all two schools, campuses and colleges, yeah. where we get to know what is happening where, in which university or college, what is happening and what is needed from our capacity. Is this something that we can go and talk to the administration to get sorted or is this something that we need government to intervene mm -hmm. on behalf of students? Because um, things that administration can do among uh, of the challenges uh, students are going through are like insecurity in school, mm -hmm. which uh, are missing marks, yeah. delayed graduation, uh, what else? 
else? Uh, what else? So challenges are so many. Mm -hmm. But then, so how are you addressing such challenges like missing marks because that is very common mm -hmm. in the university? How is that being addressed? For that, you 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 first get in touch with the school president mm -hmm. because there are leaders already there. You get to know why the issue is there. Mm -hmm. and why it has not been sorted yet. Because you can't just go into a school and you are going direct to the administration as yeah. who. Even if you have a title, you have to, to follow the order. So we normally go through the student leaders, we mm -hmm. get to know what is happening, whom now we give them the pressure to go to the administration to ensure that is sorted. Okay. Yeah, but now the challenges that need government intervention, we now use our own connections because we build connections and networks mm -hmm. to see how that could be addressed. Okay, and yeah. have you had issues that have been addressed by the government that you've taken, uh, that you took up to the government and they addressed them? Or uh, help, as usual. Mm -hmm. Help, they listen and they try something. How, are, how have they helped in matters help? Actually, not only help, but also on matters help, they, they speed up the dis disbursing of the help. Yeah. At okay. least they do it. Mm -hmm. And also, earlier on, uh, the president, our current president, William Ruto, mm -hmm. um, gave us audience with the, the Committee for Education Reforms, where we went and sat with them and mm -hmm. told them all oh, those problems, so many of them, they were about 30 something. Okay, okay. Yeah, they mm -hmm. took note and then they took feedback to him to see how he, the education system could be made better. Mm. So I feel at national level, we're being listened. You're being listened Yeah, to. although not everything is being done, but at least it's, it's, it's okay. Something, there's <laughs> some progress, a, yeah. a little bit of it. Yeah, there all is. Right. And now you being in the uh, student leadership and politics and being out here, at least trying out, uh, in a, being an MCA, though it flopped and, uh, and what not, how, what is the difference between those two? And you said that there's a difference because of the different systems that are there, the delegate system and the difference in the national politics. Mm -hmm. So how was it for you? For me, I had to adjust. Mm -hmm. Hard to adjust because you know, once a leader, always a leader, some things will, it will just be a walkover for you. Yeah. I had to realize that Uku Inje, the game is a bit tough and adjust to it because uh, sometimes politics are chaotic, especially the, the politics outside. Mm -hmm. And you see, with national politics, we are moving from country. Uh, sorry, county. from county to mm -hmm. county, not mm -hmm. country, yeah. <laughs> from <laughs> county to county, ward, ward, uh, consistence, consistency, consistency, <laughs> Evo Sasa. Yeah. So it was, and then with, sometimes we are on caravans, sometimes we are on speeding vehicles, mm -hmm. sometimes the crowd is not welcoming, it's, uh, you know, yeah, some yeah. place we go, the crowd is welcoming, it's not hostile. So I had to adjust, that, that's what I can say, I had to adjust and learn from others what they are doing the people have been there what they are doing mm -hmm. uh, get more mentors at least i have so many mentors women and men so learn from them also how they do it how they used to do it mm -hmm. and also use the platforms that i've gotten to go and learn so many of mm -hmm. them we have uh, uh, organizations like oslo center okay. christian kcc uh, that train w young women leadership Okay. Yeah, so I, use, I, I maximize every opportunity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, what type of, you, you have said you have mentors. How is it getting into national, was, was it made easier because now you're the deputy president of KUSO for someone who um, maybe doesn't have connections or, you know, a youth out there that wants to join politics but doesn't know how, but they have the, you know, they're driving them. Mm -hmm. How do you get to where you are? What does it take to get to? to start at least to have your foot in the national politics? Um, uh, they have to work on themselves first. Because mm -hmm. no one will notice you when you are not there. They ha so you have to be seen? They have to be seen. Like po uh, Politics is visibility. Mm -hmm. You have to be seen. So they have to start doing something. Whether it's doing charity in their areas, mm -hmm. whether it's doing student politics, whether it's just waking up and vying to fail because you could uh, vying to fail is not fail. Yeah. yeah yeah okay. i fail in politics a success politics will never leave you bah so much behind mm -hmm. politics will always leave you somewhere it's a job that no one will suck you mm -hmm. so i can tell them to start something 
doing something at least so to, apige kelele around the world let people know them the yeah we could yeah. change drivers kuna okay. pia the silent politics of it where someone could be involved in uh, some decision making in uh, in in deciding something mm -hmm. in in driving change yeah where they don't have to speak because we have people who uh doesn't have the grace don't have the grace of speaking mm -hmm. in public or talking too much but they have their brain that can do something for this country mm -hmm. they could also be part of politics okay. but now what matters is what you're doing when and how people can feel it mm -hmm. you have to be felt so let them do something to be felt so the, the yeah. impact has to be felt yeah. uh, with the society yeah. and how is it being a woman in politics because i know there's a lot of challenges just being a woman you know in the society but now in politics <coughs> how hot is it um the society is trying to adjust mm -hmm. to accommodate women uh, you know the woman of long ago like 50 years back mm -hmm. from now was a woman whose place was kitchen yeah bedroom or just maternity room while making yeah. the baby and it's done and everything was peaceful and the man was now to come out here uh, get money or get like or provide for their family mm -hmm. but now the woman of today has got an education mm -hmm. and we can do nothing about it so when someone gets education as a woman i get education i get to know the world um the society does not expect me also to to just remain that woman of kitchen and bedroom i have to also had my skills mm -hmm. for the betterment of the, the the country or the wherever i'm going to work as much as uh, men feel like we are not doing it well yeah. like we are running away now from our duties that make us women mm -hmm. how they put it uh we still trying to to manage it because once a woman always a woman you cannot run away from that mm -hmm. you have to see how you can do leadership you can balance the the, the if you are married your husband if you want to be you know, married mm -hmm. how to maintain being a woman feminine mm -hmm. or femininity of yourself but still be being leadership a leader, yeah. yeah and uh, leadership does not sit well with men up to date Uh, leadership for women doesn't sit well for with women men. doesn't uh -huh. sit so well it hasn't yet sat well with men mm -hmm. they are still not accepting it can happen because we, it's not a competition it, it's not for us it's not a, it's not a competition mm -hmm. we are just coming to compliment them you know when we were created from the bible that we read that was mm -hmm. written by whoever wrote it we see that a woman was created to assist a man yeah but now i took kwambiwa which kind of assistance maybe it was not just kitchen it mm -hmm. would be maybe it could be other systems like out here yeah because everybody is born uh, uh differently we are born with our own mm -hmm. capacities yeah. maybe you could do more so of the challenges trying to fit in in the society that is patriarchal is meant for men mm -hmm. as men did put it because no one ever put it like that we are also having challenges uh on how to get the resources to go okay. for campaigns because it needs a lot of money it needs money politics goes with the money it's only 1% that can do it without money okay. but politics need money and you see for women uh, we even when our fathers are giving land they might not give us Most girls because mm -hmm. we are expected to get married yeah and then, i don't think your husband also has to give you his cut of land to go and sell to campaign mm -hmm. and when also men we are working women we are still at home thinking whether to go and work so women are trying to to build their uh, their pockets financially the capacity, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, another challenge is um mm -hmm. the ability to communicate communication how is it yeah. how is it a challenge communication you might find that uh, when a woman is saying something men would make noise sometimes they mm -hmm. would look at you fast and uh, magnify your whole body and tell you first go and dress up properly okay so they, they objectify they, you first exactly that is the word they mm -hmm. objectify you and you know when there is no clear like there is no respect even you know in politics you meet different people mm -hmm. and you don't expect everybody to be sober some are very not sober but they are smart mm -hmm. so they might tell you no wewe ni mwanamke shut up what are you telling us first of all get married 
you are not married, what mm. are you doing here? You, well, you, you, you haven't proven to us that you can keep a home. How do you expect us to trust you with the whole uh -huh. word or constituency? Mm -hmm. Get us your husband and you find that maybe you are not yet to get married or even the husband is not there. Even to maybe get you, you don't even plan to get one because it's <laughs> yeah. an option. Yeah, it's an option actually. You yeah. had that meme that was Silazima <laughs> to <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you see, it's a, mm -hmm. yeah, it's not a joke. It's not something to laugh over, but it's it's laughable because mm. women are realizing um the roles are not clear anymore. The roles that we are like a man to provide mm -hmm. and a woman to be back at home are no longer clear. A woman is providing even yeah. so the man is wondering if the woman is providing what is my duty mm -hmm. and you find that some men shrink instead of um, supporting the women who are in now either leadership corporate world working whatever the, space they're yeah, in they, they feel insecure they now. feel insecure like this mm -hmm. woman is getting exposure is handing more than me instead of support they shrink they become also bitter mm -hmm. you find that men are suffering mental health because they don't understand how to handle this woman of today and mm. it's not so hard. Just understand how to handle her. Women are the easiest things to handle. So how should they, should she be handled now that you're talking about it and you're a woman in that space? Yeah, we, we, no, no matter how, how far we go, we remain women. Nothing can change. Yeah. As long as you are here as a journalist, you are earning your six-digit salary, you're looking beautiful. Well, six so, <laughs> <laughs> so many people are watching you. Don't forget that you are a woman. Yeah. How they are, we don't forget that you are a woman. At the end of the day, mm -hmm. we have to be led. Okay. Whether my, I become the president today, I have to be led. I mm -hmm. must have someone. So we have to blend in and balance. Okay, so yeah. you create that balance. Yeah, there. but now I've mentioned three challenges. There are way so many of them. Okay, and okay, now the, you've mentioned challenges of being a woman. Have you faced the challenge of being a young woman? Because now you're also very young. You just mm -hmm. finished school mm -hmm. and you've been in leadership, but people still perceive you as too young maybe. And yeah. being a woman, is, is it like a double challenge of some sort? Um, people would feel you are over ambitious. <laughs> you okay. know, yeah, they say over ambition, kill the man. <laughs> they feel that you're so over ambitious. Mm -hmm. It's like you're confused. You don't know what you're doing. Okay. Those are some people. You know, just everywhere there are there is its positivity and negativity, mm -hmm. and not everybody that will not welcome you. So there are people who feel we are so ambitious and our time will come. They, they say we are the, the leaders of tomorrow. It's okay, but you know for the tomorrow to be there, we must be there today. Today, yes, yeah, we must be we felt today. Yeah, we must have the track record. Okay. So that acceptance, it's a challenge. You might even try to get our financial help from someone or from institution. And they look at you and they feel like, no, mm -hmm. no, we can't, you wait. We can't bag on you. Yeah. No, we can't. You wait. Mm -hmm. Also, with men, some would see a wife, a potential wife to be. <laughs> some would see yeah. a girlfriend. But to see when you have a, a, a drive in you, mm -hmm. you're looking very far. You're not looking at here. It's okay to get to be married, but not just like that. Because I came for help, now you want to marry me. It won't work. Of mm -hmm. course, I just go home without what I came for. Yeah. Because that cannot happen. Of um, course. Other challenge for being young woman is uh, the platform. Competing with the women who have been there, getting the platform, it's a bit challenge. All they right. have been there already. They have, they have established their roots. They, they know where, when, how, and what to get. They know the tricks of yeah, the game. Yeah, and they are known. You just come in to compete with them. You know, even don't lie to yourself. That mm. person has experience. Of course, you might win over them, but it's not that I walk in the park. Okay, so you have to have the heart yeah. for it. Mm -hmm. All right, so before we come to a close on this, because time has really flown by, mm -hmm. I want to know, you, you said you want to leave a legacy and you're still in leadership despite mm -hmm. you working uh, for parliament now. So what legacy do you want to leave? What, how do you want to serve your people? We have the late Magoha and he's left a great impact mm -hmm. in the society, he's introduced CBC, he's done so many reforms in the education sector, so that's something that he'll be remembered with. What is it that you want to be remembered with uh, in your leadership that you're you're still in and you're getting into um i'm really doing a lot of things mm -hmm. let me start there um, i'm doing girl child mentorship i'm doing boy child mentorship i have so many youth organizations where i give them uh, the platform to mm -hmm. grow politically 
uh, I have also groups where we we talk about in pregnancy. We go oh. uh, mm -hmm. from place to place addressing this issue to protect the girl child as she's growing so that she can make it to this level. So I want to be remembered as a, a woman who um, brought women leadership into more platforms or how do I put this? I want to be remembered as a woman mm -hmm. who championed for women leadership wow. and it went on successfully. Mm -hmm. Because if we, I protect the gen generation that is coming of women, they realize themselves. Uh, when we go to the village and make sure mm -hmm. the girl is not pregnant before she's 18 years, she's before, she's before, she's realized herself and her dreams, that woman, that young woman over there will remember that if mm -hmm. were it not for Tabitha, maybe I would not have been gone to school, I would not have uh, attained my goals, achieved more. Uh, other women who are my age mates, they'll remember if it wasn't for this uh, lady, Tabitha, maybe I would have uh, realized what is in me. Because mm -hmm. I try to tell them that w you can do more. It is not what you feel. We can do much, we can be felt. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to acknowledge women leadership. It's doing well. There are women before us who are championed for it successfully. So we thank them so much. We are enjoying the privilege because of, of talking because of them. Wow. But now it's upon us to do more. I want to be remembered as someone who brought change to the society by ensuring more women came uh, mm -hmm. out here to be in leadership and governance. Wow, yeah. amazing. That's amazing, Tabitha. And Thank we wish you all the best. And we want to see you very at the, at the top representing us as women. Maybe Thank you have a word to say as we close for, uh, you know, a woman leader that is out there. And that is your camera. You can also share your social handles. Mm -hmm. To a woman leader, now, the young or uh, the, the one who are already established, or all of them? Anyone, or all of them. Well, to women leaders out here, uh, what I can tell you is um, believe in yourself. Uh, win because you're supposed to win. Get uh, an opportunity because you deserve it. Do not go through short shortcuts because shortcuts will not lead you anywhere. Um, have the drive, have a purpose because if you have a purpose, nothing outshines the purpose. The purpose will lead you to something and Live up to your full potential. Well, my social handles, uh, it's Rachel Tabida, Facebook, Twitter, HE, Rachel Tabida, Instagram, HE, Rachel Tabida. Wow, yeah. amazing. Thank you very much, You're Tabitha, for welcome. coming and sharing your story with us and encouraging someone out mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. All right, so that has been Rachel Tabitha Mutune, who's a national youth political leader. She says, have the drive, have the passion, and just keep in, the, you know, have the purpose and uh, don't give up. Basically, that's what uh, she is saying. So thank you for uh, staying around and watching this particular interview. We have more coming your way on WCW. There's a question that we asked you in our social media and we want you to participate in that to know Lisa matters relationship wise is that some people have multiple partners something around that so talk to us using the hashtag WCW or why in the morning at Y254 my channel my personal handle is at Stephanie Ayeta we take a short break we'll be right back There we have it. Thank you very Just much, Rachel. <laughs>